So now we're coming down to the fundamental reason that we believe that particles exist, and that is diffusion. Why do we know or how do we know that particles exist? So what is diffusion? Let's look at it. Diffusion is when particles go, so this is movement of particles from where they are more to where they are less. Now there's a word to describe that. Instead of saying they are more, we say where they have high concentration. So they go from high concentration, which means they are more closer together, they are concentrated to low concentration. In your book, they also use the word region, which is fine if you use it or not. The region of high concentration, I mean the area where they have high concentration to area where they have low concentration. Now, interestingly, diffusion is a random process. And that's really weird. Random things are, which you cannot predict. Particles move randomly because we cannot know which direction they'll go in. But at the same time, we know the direction of diffusion is from high concentration to low concentration. How can a random thing do that? Really simple. Random things happen at the particle level, but the overall effect is still the same. For example, let's say you are a group of three students. You're friends with each other and you all study in your own time. You have a third friend who, who has his own routine. It's all random, right? But eventually the result is that all three of you, if you work hard, you all all going to succeed. Even though you all work differently, but because the eventual result is the same. And that's how diffusion works as well. Individual particles are all moving randomly. And when they move, they collide with each other. When they collide with each other, they push each other away. And what happens? They eventually get further and further away from each other, getting to a situation which is low concentration. So they're all moving randomly. So high concentration is when they're really close together. So let's say this is a particle. So they are constantly moving. They are random, sure, but they're constantly moving and constantly hitting each other up. And eventually what happens is that they all go further and further away from each other. And so the process goes like this. So this will expand in all directions. But if I fix it from one side, if I'm like, okay, these are particles here. They can only go in one direction. They can't go up. They can't go left. They can't go right or bottom. They can only go in one direction. So what will happen? They have to hit each other and they have to go further and further away from each other. So after a while, we will see this. We will see that they are going like that. We will see that they're going out of this thing. It's not because this particle thought, ke, oh, main bhai ja no, that particle has no mind of itself. It's randomly just hitting each other and going further and further away from each other. But because they're confined from all the other sides, there's only one option where they'll go, and that is they'll go to the right. And that is what we see eventually they lead to what is called homogeneity. Diffusion leads to uniform distribution, which is called homogeneity. Homogeneous distribution. That's another way of describing it. So eventually they will do that. Okay.